Konnichiwa! Welcome to Learn Japanese with Masa Sensei. My name is Masa and I am teaching Japanese grammar for beginners. Today in this lesson, we will learn about no des and n des. Now, when you talk with your Japanese friends, you might have heard this word no des and n des because we use this quite often. It has several meanings. For example, we use no des and n des when we ask questions or when you uh, talk about the reason or when you emphasize a sentence or you know, when you make an interpretation or when you make a request the difference between no des and n des is very simple no des is used for written form and n des is used for spoken form now let's look at some example So the first one is uh, the questions. So no des and n des is used to ask questions. So it comes together with some interrogative words. For example, tare, who, nani, what, doko, where, itsu, when, doste, why, and put together with no des or n des. For example, if you want to say, where do you go? Doko e ikimasu ka? So, doko is where, so you want to ask questions. In this case, ikimasu becomes iku, plain style, and then you put together with n desu ka? Doko e ikun desu ka? Where do you go? Why are you late? Doste okuremashita ka? Becomes Doste okureta desu ka? So this is Why are you late? What are you doing? Nani o shite imasu ka? Becomes Nani o shite irun desu ka? Okay. So the next one is when you tell the reason. So it is used to express reasons. It is used when the speaker is going to do something and the speaker explains the situations which are not expressed in words. Now what is this meaning? Let's use this sentence that we have just now learned. Doste okuretan desu ka? Why are you late? So previously when we tell about the reason, we used kara desu. So if I want to say because the bus didn't come, I say basu ga konakatta kara desu. Basu ga konakatta kara desu. So, kara means because. However, instead of using kara, you can simply say, basu ga konakattan desu. Basu ga konakattan desu. So, in this case, you don't have to say kara desu. You just have to say konakattan desu. So, n desu is used when you express the reason. If I want to say because it was raining, because it was raining is ame ga futte ita kara desu. Ame ga futte ita kara desu. We can change into ame ga futte itan desu. Ame ga futte itan desu. And then because I lost my key. Key is kagi. Kagi o nakushita kara desu. Kagi o nakushita kara desu. Because I lost my key. This one will be kagi o nakushita desu. Kagi o nakushita desu. So this was the second, second usage. 
The third one is we use this to emphasize. So for example, so it is used to emphasize the meaning of a sentence often comes together with emphasized adverbs, which is like ni really, totemo, very. If I want to say, this apple is really delicious. This apple is really delicious. I say, kono ringo wa hontoni oishin desu yo. So instead of saying oishi desu yo, I put oishi n desu yo. So this is emphasizing your uh, your feeling. It's really, really delicious. Oishin desu yo. If I want to say this test is really, really difficult. Kono testo wa totemo muzukashi n desu. Kono testo wa totemo muzukashi n desu. So I'm expressing my feeling. This test is really difficult. The fourth one is used when you uh, you interpret or confirm, confirm what the listener is saying. So let's say you're talking with someone and then that person says, Ah, watashi wa gaikoku ni sunde imashita. Gaikoku ni sunde imashita. Gaikoku is foreign country. And then this person is saying, I have lived in foreign country in the past. And then the speaker would say, Ah, naruhodo, gaikoku ni sunde itan desu ne. Naruhodo is, I see. We use this quite often. Naruhodo, oh, I see. Gaikoku ni sunde itan desu ne. You were living in a foreign country. So this is a confirmation. So it's just repeating what uh, the listener what is uh, has says, said just now. Uh, in order to confirm, you say, "sundeita desu ne." Another situation is, let's say you're talking with your friend, and then he is saying, "Oh, I'm very busy. Totemo isogashi And then he says, "Oh, I don't have time to meet you this week." Konshu wa aemasen. Then the speaker would say, Hey, konshu wa isogashi n desu ne. Hey, konshu wa isogashi n desu ne. Hey is when you understand something. Ah, oh, hey. We nod and say, Hey, konshu wa isogashi n desu ne. Oh, you're busy this week. So this is a uh, interpretation. So you you just uh, understand what the the listener is trying to say. So you say, Ah, konshu wa isogashi n desu ne. Oh, I see you're busy this week. Then the last one will be. So when you make a request, or before the speaker make a request. We use this and this. For example, you're asking someone to take the cup over there. You say, Sumimase, soko no koppu o totte hoshin desu ga. Sumimase, excuse me, soko no koppu, the cup over there, the cup over there. And then, totte hoshi. I want you to take. Totte hoshi. Te for plus hoshi. And then, you put, n desu ga. N desu ga. So, you don't finish at, n desu. But when you make a request, you end with, n desu ga. So, this is the end of the sentence. Even though it ends with ga. It's uh, when you make a request. Sumimasen, soko no koppu totte hoshi n desu ga. 
excuse me, can you take the cup over there? So this is when you make a request. Now, what is the meaning of before you make a request? For example, あの手紙を書いたんですがあの手紙を書いたんですがあの is uh, when it's it's like uh, excuse me but you don't have to say excuse me we say あの is uh, we understand that you you want to say something you had you want to start to express something and then 手紙を書いた I wrote a letter I wrote a letter and then you end with んですが So んですが is when you want to make a request or when it's before you want to make a request. So it means I wrote a letter. Can you read? It, it implies the meaning of I wrote a letter. So can you read? あの手紙を書いたんですが So uh, in Japanese, we don't necessarily have to say the whole sentence. It implies the meaning of your request, so the listener also understands what the meaning is. So this is the difficult part of Japanese language. Okay, so this is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down in the box below. ありがとうございます。またね。バイバイ。